Good afternoon. Today we're headed to the Disney Wish for another cruise. We are going out on a, the very first very merry time cruise on the Disney Wish. So exciting. So we are running a little bit late. Well, actually we're not. The ship is running a little bit late. Right, because of the hurricane. Yeah, so we're. this is going to be kind of like an interesting uh, embarkation day. Yeah, so basically they've told us to show up six and a half hours after our initial boarding time. Which was 11 a.m. Right. So we're going to get there at 530 and hopefully we get on the ship. Oh, we will definitely get on the ship, but I, I just wonder what the, uh, like what's going to happen. Cause what's we're... the status of the ship? Like, yeah. Are we going to eat dinner? Because our dinner's normally at 545. What's the sailaway party going to look like? So I don't know. Let's head out and see uh, what happens. They said that the latest that we could get on the ship is nine o'clock tonight. So that means that we're definitely going to have a nighttime sail away. So we don't know if there's going to be a sail away party. We don't know if they're going to push dinner back. We don't really know what's going to happen. So let's head to the port and see, see what's yeah. going on. There she is. The Disney wish. That's where we're headed. It is now about 507 and I think we can start to get in at 5 30 i don't know but right now we're waiting on a drawbridge there was like a tweet from the port authority saying that they were going to be opening up the drawbridge for 15 minute intervals so we might be here for 15 minutes we might not be i don't know i did also want to point out that the disney wish is currently the only ship at this port right now all the other ships that are normally docked around them are not here because they are waiting their turn the wish was the first one into port when everybody got back Seems like everybody decided to try to come at 5.30. It's now 5.14. Big long line of people. Yeah, because I, I wonder if everybody's board time is 5.30. I think, think a lot of people... Going? They're going to the cruise too. It's a cruise line bus. I think a lot of people are just like trying to figure out what's going on. So they're like, we're going to miss dinner if we don't get there early. So I think everybody's just here early. But was it six and a half hours after your board time? Yeah. So what happens to those people? They just are stuck in the terminal? I don't know, maybe. Now, these are people just getting off the wish over here and we're just showing up. This is an interesting day for sure. All right, we're going to the parking garage so we can park the car. We just dropped off our luggage. A little peeky in the year now. That's true. <laughs> okay. Well, I wasn't expecting him to say that. <laughs> really interested to see how much it's going to cost us because we're here so late. Oh yeah, do we pay for parking today? I think we do. Like, we're our parking today. Oh, well, what? Yeah, this cruise is, like, going to be very interesting. All right, we parked, but I wanted to show you guys the sunset across the street over there. It's beautiful. I can't wait to get on the ship and see it. It's interesting being here. Now the sun's starting to go down. Now look, the lights are on here. I've never been in here after dark. So we made it through security. We're heading onto the ship now, but they asked us when we were checking in what our dining time was. If we were early or late, we told them early. They said, your new dining time is six. So originally it was 5.45, now it's six. It is now 5.50. And we got here as early as we could, and we are headed in now. So, I don't know. We're doing it. This is actually the concierge waiting area right here. If we wanted to, we could wait in here instead of getting on the ship. But we want to get on the ship. The fun thing is, though, I don't know what where we're going for dinner. So I have to get on the app, log into the Wi-Fi, and then I'll know. So, we're working on it. We're getting there. Thank you so much. Look at that. They're still putting up the Christmas tree. Rapunzel's here. Do you remember seeing Rapunzel? So do you want a wishing wand, Jackson? No, oh, he's excited. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, so we are staying concierge, so we can either go to Worlds of Marvel right now, okay, or we can go up to concierge and eat up there. I mean, I want to do concierge because Worlds of Marvel to me is my least favorite menu. Okay, that's fine. But it's whatever you want to do. I like the show at Worlds of Marvel. Let's go up to concierge. All right, so we are in room thirteen zero eighteen. Yeah, go ahead. Do it, buddy. Let's do it. All right, let's see. Ooh, <laughs> look at this. Look at oh, you the love the, part. come on, let's go inside. Oh. Inside, let's inside. Go inside. <laughs> so because this was a little bit of a rushed boarding, we were supposed to have some stuff set up for Christmas, which is right there. I don't know what this is. There is some food there. 
But oh, we got this holiday fun that. guy right here. Oh. <laughs> I got so yeah, let's have a look really fast. Okay, so this room tour is a little bit after we, it's actually our last night right now. So you guys are seeing the room after we've stayed in it for a few days. That way I can kind of give you guys an idea of what's nice and what uh, is different. And I really have a good feeling for the room. So this is room 13018 on concierge level on the Disney Wish. So this is a deluxe family stateroom and it is mostly the same as the other deluxe family stateroom that we've stayed at that was non-concierge. So when you first come in off on the right is a toilet. The difference here is that instead of having the H2O soap, we have Elemis. Um, I think that's the only difference in here that I've seen. The tile work might be a little bit different. And then one other thing that I should note is that the carpet here is Rapunzel themed, but it's also a purple color, which is, you know, purple is the color of royalty. So you'll see purple kind of around this room a lot. All of these shelves are exactly the same as the other room, but then as soon as we go into the shower room, we're a little bit different in here. Tile work, I think is different too. And then this is the big difference is this very large tile piece in the back of the shower there. And then a rainfall shower head too. Now, I will tell you, when you're turning this on, here's a little like tip for you. Don't reach in like this to turn it on because it'll rain right on your head. You need to kind of reach around like this to turn it on as best you can. Um, everything else is the same in here as far as the mirror and the sink goes. There's a monkey here. The mural behind the bed is Rapunzel on the night that the floating lanterns happen. So her birthday, Rapunzel's birthday. And you can kind of see what looks like Rapunzel and Flynn out here in the boat. Of course, this is a holiday cruise, a very merry time cruise. So we have some holiday decorations throughout the room. The other thing that I've noticed is that this shelving unit is wider than the regular deluxe family stateroom that we just stayed in for the Halloween cruise. So a little bit more storage here. And then the bed is of course bigger. So that to me says that this room is bigger. This is a king size bed very very plush the pillows are softer the bed itself is softer the bedding is softer but i will say this is such a high thread count that it's kind of like a loud like the actual sheets themselves are loud if you're uh, like if you roll around at night a lot it's loud it's just loud <laughs> like you can hear it a lot same thing with the pillows Let's look at the detail on the the lampshade and then we continue the Rapunzel themed carpet throughout the entire room, of course. And then the other thing is that because we're in concierge, we get these things. They're little like places for you to put your slippers, I guess, in the morning. And it says good night as you're getting into bed and then good morning as you're getting out of bed. I think these things are a little bit, you can see how wrinkled it is. I feel like they're a little bit more trouble than they are nice. Because as soon as you get out of bed one time and you step on it, like you can see if I like just, if I'm getting out of bed and I turn a little bit, it's just, that's the way it is for the rest of the night. And then as you're getting in and out and getting out of bed, it just, no matter what, it doesn't stay nice throughout the evening. Uh, here's another big purple item is this, this like tuft here that is underneath the vanity area for you to sit on. This thing's very hard to sit on, but so is the one in the regular deluxe family stateroom. I can't recall, I'll have to ask Jen, if this was in the Deluxe Family Stateroom, like this little this little makeup mirror. I do know that there was a lighted mirror in the other stateroom. Uh, all the storage over here was the same. The color of the couch, a little bit different. Still same hardness of couch when you're sitting on it here because it does fold out into a bed. There's also a bunk that can come down from the ceiling. That's the same as the deluxe family stateroom that's non-concierge. Another Rapunzel print here, as we said too. Some more purple in there. And then Jackson's sleeping in the Murphy bed. Here's something else that you can request as a diaper genie. Um, Jackson's out of diapers now, but he still has accidents occasionally that we need to use wipes for and stuff. That's why we put those in there. 
in the pull down bed here, it's still plusher blankets and pillows and things like that. But then another difference that I found was there's a light in here for you to use for like reading at night or something. And this was not in the other bed that I saw. I'll have to look back at the video and see, but I didn't notice it when we were staying in that room. And then the curtains are a different color too. They're a lighter color. And I feel like I've noticed that the light comes through them more in the morning. So like the last room that we stayed in was definitely darker. The, the, sh the curtains were darker and it made it so that the light didn't penetrate them as much as they would these. Same thing with this curtain here that separates the room. So yeah, those are the, the differences or the difference. Also, we have a padded headboard. Uh, that's the differences in the deluxe family stateroom concierge level and the deluxe family stateroom uh, general level. Also, I believe that the room's a little bit wider because we have just the slightest bit more room at the foot of the bed down here. I like it, it is a good room. One of the uh, complaints that I've seen about the Wish is that the TV is mounted here. In the other ships, it's mounted kind of where the, uh, the phone is over there. So you can watch it, but it's a smaller TV. So you could watch it from the bed or you could watch it from the couch. But with this TV, it's mounted so you can watch it from the bed and you can't turn it to watch it from the couch. You can still see it from the couch but it's not pointed at you. Oh, I should also point out, this is the, like the, the, the writing kit that is inside of a concierge room. And I think it's leather. It feels like it's leather at least. And then inside is some stationery, some postcards. Yeah, a couple of postcards, some envelopes. And then these are the door hangers over here for when you're doing uh, the continental breakfast that you can have delivered to your room in the morning, every morning, except for the last morning of your cruise. And then of course the Disney cruise light pen that you can take with you if you'd like to. The storage is the same as it was in the other room. Got a hairdryer in there, a regular full size drawer there, some shelves down here, and then a refrigerator here, which was fully stocked with sodas and waters and stuff. You can see there's still some sodas down there when we first got into the room. And we've been able to put some of our stuff in there, some like uh, orange juices and apple juices and our fruit plate. So there you have it. That was a tour of a deluxe family stateroom with veranda and kind of giving you guys the differences between a deluxe family stateroom with veranda in concierge versus a deluxe family stateroom with veranda in the general area of the ship. So uh, a few differences, but not a ton of differences. So we just stopped by the room real quick to just drop off our stuff, like your backpack and things. Now we are headed down to uh, Worlds of Marvel for our dinner, which started about five minutes ago, but that's fine. Look at this, right outside of the door next to the elevators. Like we're just basically right next to the elevators and then right out the doors to the splash pad. Perfect, right? Also, rainbow connection. I feel like I, mm -hmm. we can't have a bad time listening to this. Right? Also, they have these like, like music box cookie tin popcorn buckets that were just brought into the parks on uh, Tuesday. That's when they came into the party. They were supposed to be in the parks on Friday, which is today, but they were in the parks on Tuesday. Also, tonight at 1045, we can watch Black Panther Wakanda forever. Today's the opening day. It's opening day on the cruise ship too. I'm watching the Wonderland Cinema. And it's also included, so it's not an extra charge, included in the cost of your cruise. Also, it'll be playing at 11 in the Walt Disney Theater. So the big theater, with the better sound and the big thing and everything. Oh, they've taken all the, good morning or good afternoon, good evening. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, they've taken all this, the decals off of the windows. All of the guest services are wearing fun hats and scarves. We are starting to get scarves. The tree is going up. I call them scarves, starting to get garland. Oh yeah, it's quite the switch. Oh, they've already got one tree up over there. Look, and Mickey's already out and everything. All right, first dinner of the cruise, Worlds of Marvel. All right, we're doing it. Ah, very epic walking down here. I feel like we're gonna be the only ones in here. So when we were, like earlier today, when we were talking about getting on the ship, and then it got delayed, and then it got delayed, I was like, I'm gonna be healthy on this cruise. And then I realized we're staying concierge, where we can go into the lounge and eat everything we want to. So 
I'm not gonna be eating healthy. Attention, maybe sometime. Friday. Tonight's dinner presentation, miracles from molecules, will be getting underway in just five minutes. Whoa, there's so nobody in here. Take your seats. Look at this. I don't think anybody's on the ship yet. I know. But I think what we're gonna do is after dinner, we're gonna head to the lounge just to show you what the dinner would have been. Yeah. Um, and I bet there's probably a healthy thing in there. Probably. That's okay. Well, there's next, cookies in there. Truth. That's all that I want to eat. <laughs> so we've showed this twice now. So I'm we're just gonna like enjoy just dinner here. tonight, yeah. right? We were just in here. We'll, we'll show you when we're, we're, we're helping Ant Man. Yeah, we'll show you, and we'll show you when Ant Man. Push it! Push it! We did it! Pretty sweet, right? We made that swan huge. So for dinner, Jackson decided he wanted the fish. Pretend like that piece is still in there. Right. Accidentally. Yeah. Uh, for bread service, we're getting this marbled bread. What is it like a marble? It's called a rye. I wanted to call it a marble rye, but it's just a marble bread. Ooh, look, look, look. There's your ketchup. He's too busy watching the sexiest man alive. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, we normally get a San Pellegrino. But I guess they're, it's not, not loaded on yet. So we got Evian Sparkling, which is what they have up in Enchante. Oh, I was gonna say the last time that we were in Enchante, they said that this is like hard to come by. So this is like a treat. Yeah. So our server recommended this appetizer. It's the sauteed criminy and oyster mushrooms with sesame artichoke puree, baby spinach, and yuzu vinaigrette. And I don't know, can you see the spinach? You can kind of see it this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like a Mickey. Look. What? Can you see? Oh, it moved. <laughs> I was like, what are you even talking about? It looked like a Mickey. Can you see the outline? Kind of. I promise it did. The the juice? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I got, this is the steamed bao bun, seared ginger orange pork belly, toasted sesame seeds, pickled daikon, spring onions, and mirin soy honey glaze. So the first time that we, that we sailed, First time that we were on the wish, I ordered that and I did not like it. Oh, it was like way too. I thought sweet. you were supposed to tell me this. I, you tried it too. Oh, okay. You already had it. I forgot. Jen also got to share with Jackson the dill and Meyer lemon marinated shrimp, miniola, English cucumber, creme fraiche, and si salmon caviar. Almost called it Simon caviar. <laughs> Who's Simon? <laughs> Who's Simon? And what's he doing with caviar? Um, also, the the mushroom appetizer was really good. Oh, you like the mushroom appetizer? I loved it. It had like the sauteed spinach was really nice, and then it had like this cream. I don't know what the cream was. Creme fraiche maybe on top. Sesame artichoke puree. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, I love the flavor. Ready to go. Three, two, two. Push it. Oh. Something uh, broke. That didn't work. Uh, Friday? Uh, bring up one of the egg cans. On it. Oh no, we shrunk the entire ship, buddy. Oh no. Just, we're very oh, tiny. We this little. Look at how tiny we are. Uh, I just wanted to surprise you. That's, That's a, a really one. big. Well, it's a seagull. We shrunk the ship. Uh, Honey, I shrunk the ship. That's funny. Jen just got the white cheddar and broccolini soup. Okay. With toasted uh, cornbread yeah. uh, sippets. Right back. Tons? Yeah. <laughs> so the last time that we, that I had this, I told them it was like more liquidy, more broccoli than cheddar. Um, but I really like it. So Broccolini, good. by the way. Yeah, it's good. That's why I ordered it again. All right. So uh, these little guys went to the bathroom really quick. Jackson's eating some lemon sorbet. But while you guys were gone, they they brought out the food. I told them they could bring out the food. So Tim got the shawarma salad. Yeah. So you did, you did kind of eat healthy. Right. So this is slow roasted cumin spice pulled lamb leg with mini pitas, iceberg, endive, romaine lettuce, sumac onions, fine tomatoes, pickled red cabbage, roasted chickpeas, cucumber, and lemon yogurt dressing. That looks delicious. Yeah. It looks I'm really, really good. Out. Well, it's kind of bigger than I thought it, would be, it was going to be, too. And then um, somebody had left a message saying that they were going to miss us not trying the vegetarian options. So I wanted to try the vegetarian options for you. This is the ricotta gnocchi with fontina cheese, caramelized grape tomato confit, broccoli rob, and arugula pesto. But then I knew, just in case I didn't like love this, I also ordered the pasta that I had last time because it was so good. And I figured I could split that with Jackson, but now he's eating his dessert, so maybe not. So this is the Golden Mystic Pasta with scallops, angel hair pasta, Chardonnay lemon saffron cream, 
roasted vine tomatoes and spinach. And this was so good last time. How's yours? You already took a bite. I just had the pizza. Oh, okay. He's, good. <laughs> He's just already pushing. Hey, middle hand. Target wires. In your buttons now. Do it. Do it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Now you're doing it. We did it. It's over already. Look, right there, Jackie. Right here. There's Ant Man. There's Moss. Oh, Van Dyne. Oh, Hey, oh, big fist bump. Yeah. Hey there. We did it. That was the wasp. You just fish bumped the wasp. Fish bump. I'm so excited. Did that was say, great. Did you say fish bump? I said fish bump. That's what we call it on the cruise ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he was talking. Oh, we saw I heard him. He said, You guys really crushed it. Hey, guys. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. Helped out Ant Man. I thought he was out in the sun today, huh? Ooh. Hi, Alan. He's not really that sunburned. So he wasn't even in the sun today. We just had a hurricane. There was no sun. We got on the ship at like five o'clock, six o'clock at night. They don't know that. Oh. Chocolate chip cookie and a cupcake. Look at the size of that thing. What if that was our dessert tonight? Oh, we have a little bit more progress on the tree. Looking good. They're getting it done. They're trying their hardest to get it done quick as possible. I wonder if all these people have to get off the ship before like nine o'clock tonight. This is so interesting to me. Like what is this team? Is this holiday services for the cruise line? People are still pouring in. We just finished dinner. So I, I think there's like an order of what they're doing too. You can see it's all spread out across the floor here. But also like how fast the garland went up too. Well, I didn't think it was gonna be this color too. The color surprised me. Yeah, gold. No, we can't eat the candy yet. Look, there's a little. We came back to the room for a second because there's a little doggy. Candy. And some candy. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, there's stickers. I'm like, how did they put eyeballs on this? Yeah, and then we've got Jackson's bed all set up back here for him. So because this is a very maritime cruise, I opted to buy this like decoration packet that comes with a couple of banners that say "Happy Holidays." And you got Santa Mickey and Santa Minnie with uh, the wish. There, it's just a. a generalized cruise line the <laughs> ship but it kind of looks like the wish maybe and then we've got look at this look at this drawing of goofy oh it's pluto i was like why does goofy look so strange because it's pluto you got daisy and donald and pluto and goofy and chip and dale and then mickey and minnie down here i love their christmas tree why is it covered with snow though and then also like tropical ornaments and then we also got this blanket here with Pluto, Minnie, Donald, Mickey, and Goofy. And it says, all aboard for holiday fun. And then we got another one of these pillows that's Mickey shaped. And then it, it has the zipper on the bottom so you could like store stuff in it. I don't know what you would store in it. And then we got this silly Goofy scarf. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, model that for you. But look at the, look at the ear detail on this pillow. We got an anchor that you're getting as a present, a, a sea star, that's an ornament, a fish, a stocking with some anchors on it, sand dollar, Mickey as uh, with a Santa hat on, and then on the back you've got Minnie. So it's a nice reversible, a nice reversible pillow. Oh, check out this snowman. He's like a tropical snowman. What is that snowman? What is this? Oh, it's a it's the a captain's wheel with a wreath around it. Oh, and then it has the cruise line emblem on the bottom it's keeping me so warm look at, yeah look it's kind of silly looking though but i do like that he has the cruise line emblem up oh here. yeah ready, yeah let's bud? see it on the little buddy oh, look at that whoa it's so long <laughs> i love your dance i love that they still gave him arms and feet i know like look at his little arms hanging buddy it nice has different warm. toes Different, yeah, different toes, toes. perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're on 13 and we're gonna go into the concierge lounge here. Oh, have fun. Yeah, there's also some bathrooms right here, which I don't think the other concierge lounge had. Ooh, yes. yeah, so cool. we go down the stairs or you can go out onto the deck here. Where does that go? That goes out onto the deck. Oh, I'm gonna see that tomorrow, that's gonna be neat. Yeah. 
This is nice. And me too. And Jackson. And Yeah, probably. Yeah. Look at this. It's very nice. What's going on here? This is all the different drinks that you can get in here. Oh, this is nice. Can, is this, is it, can we go outside right there? I can't tell what's going on. I can go outside right there. What, how do I get out there? Right there? That says emergency exit. This is for the food, because normally there's like food out. Right? So where is it here? I don't know. Maybe it's not happening right now. There's, but it's always happening. Right? I'm going to ask. How do I get out there? I was just wandering around trying to find where the bathroom is and I found some cookies. Oh. And there was M&M. Yeah, there were M&M cookies. And they have all kinds of waters and stuff and drinks. What? You can just get some Dasani cans. They have some concierge merch. You can get a concierge hat, concierge pin, inaugural wish snow globe. Kind of fun. We got some, some Cinderella stuff down there. Oh, what did you find? I got some cookies. I got two of each. Oh, I like it. And then I got some chamomile tea because I'm going to be going to bed soon with Jackson. We got some inaugural sailing of the wish, Duty and Burke. Don't touch, don't touch. We got some keel, a keel coin. Uh, it's a little version of the brass statue that's in the lobby. And then an artist print. Those are kind of hard to see. They're hard for me to see, too. Yeah. Those are Reese's Pieces, buddy. Oh. You don't even know what Reese's Pieces are. You don't. <laughs> Those are Reese's Pieces. Oh, Almond my. and coconut, chocolate chip cookies, M&M's. And that's right. And that's right. Pecan white chocolate cookies. Yeah. Oh, look, you can have one. You say thank oh. you? You're welcome. <laughs> you. Thank you. Let me have it. You well, can have it. Let me 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 have it. Okay, have one. It's glass, so we'll hold it over. Just give it a try. Tell me what you think. Does it taste like M&M? Does it taste like an M&M? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? You sure it doesn't taste a little bit like Can peanut butter? Try a second one. It's tell me, tell me if it tastes like peanut butter or chocolate. Chocolate. There's also a full bar here in Concierge, so just to kind of give you guys a quick overview. Full bar. There are three coffee machines throughout the space, and then there is like a little spot for kids to watch TV over here. There's also another drink cart over there. Uh, there's the food place where we got the cookies. That's where you will have breakfast, lunch, and dinner available back in here. Lots and lots of seating. And then we can go outside. Which way does it go? Let's see here. So we are all the way on the forward of the ship. Some seating out here. Of course, we're still in Port Canaveral right now. I don't think we're going to leave for another half an hour or so some lightning happening outside yeah this is nice right here I'm, I'm gonna I can't wait to come out here like when we're sailing and get the breeze in my face and then also up there is the concierge sun deck so I'm gonna go up there in just a second oh I can go up there right now up these stairs oh and this is this would lead to one of the suites so like the briar rose suite or something like that I think there's a room right there for sure so now I'm gonna go up the stairs. So just to kind of give you guys an idea of where we're at, that up there is the Chippendale pool. You can kind of see one of the, like the satellite dome there, the radar, and then the horns are just behind us. So this area would be very loud when the ship's horn is blowing. Lots of sun chairs, towels. We've got sunscreen available. We've got these fun chairs right here for relaxing. Some seats under cover here. During the day, they are gonna have people out here at the bar. So you can come out here and get your own drinks while you're on the concierge, concierge deck. This is very nice. That's one of the rooms right there. You can see, like can you see the reflection of the water up there? That's because there's a private hot tub on that deck for that room. And then as we are turning around, lots and lots of seating and relaxing areas. There is this awesome like sitting pool. So this is like a seat that has water running down it. You can kind of see it rolling off here. We'll show it during the day too. And there's a hot tub right here. 
and then another hot tub over here. I want to feel how hot it is, how warm it is. Oh, it's not really that warm right now. Hmm, maybe this isn't a hot tub, but more of just like a tub. Oh, standing up here I can see. There's nobody out on the deck right now. Everybody must be eating dinner. Look at this. Up here, just some cups. Dole smoothie. Let's have a little bit, buddy. All right. Let's see how it is. Come here, have a little taste. It's like a, it's like a slushy almost. Oh, well, it's kinda, gonna hit it's you in the face. Thick. What do you think of that? Did you not try any? Mm. Does it taste like a Dole Whip? Mm -hmm. So this isn't really a Dole Whip. It's a Dole Whip smoothie. So it's just like a pineapple smoothie with ice. So it's not the best, in my opinion. This is cool. Also, I like that they have a cone count for how many ice cream cones they've had already. I came outside because I realized we have started moving. That's our cruise terminal. Right, no, that's the other cruise terminal. It says don't climb on the railing, buddy. You know that. But yeah, we're, we're moving. We're doing it. And so it's like, a, it's like 9, 10, and we are now setting sail. Just very slowly, but we are moving. So I wonder if everybody made it onto the ship. It's a good question, I guess. All right, so Shannon's is putting Jackson to sleep. It's actually really, really late. It's like 9.45. But I saw on the Navigator app that there's a tree lighting at 10.15. So I came down here to see what's going on. Hey, how's it going? So I came down here to see what's going on. We'll see. I don't know if there actually is going to be a tree lighting, but we'll find out. Looks like they have finished it just in time. So we will be here for the lighting.
Well, that was a fun tree lighting ceremony. I think everybody was like really into it. Mostly, I think it was a little bit of like holiday spirit and a little bit of like, we did it. We're on the ship. There was no sail away party. This is what's happening right now. Let's party. So now I'm headed up to Mickey's main sail because I wanted to see if there was any very merry time merch. We got some stickers here. Oh, a very maritime Tervis. I love it. I'm gonna get this. I think this is just a Wish Polo, but they do also have some ornaments. This place looks like picked over already. There is a, oh yeah, all aboard for holiday fun. This is nice. It's okay, right? I like this spirit jersey though. It's got a Disney Cruise Line spirit jersey. And it says Disney Cruise Line. Okay. Pretty cool. And there's a kid's shirt. That's the same. So the spirit jersey is $80. The t-shirt, which there's only two left, is $30. This one, I think it's just a Disney Cruise Line shirt. And then the kid's shirt is $25. Alright, so I got this Turvis. It's a full-size one, as you know I love. It has all of the designs of Very Maritime on the Disney Cruise Line. And you can see it is a Disney Cruise branded Turvis. And it is $29, but it is tax-free on board the ship. So I'm going to get it. And just like that, the shirts are sold out. Except for the kids' shirts are still around. I might see if I can get one for Jackson, but I don't think they have. Here's extra small. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get that for Jackson, right? But the adult shirts are sold out. There's a silent disco happening down here where you put on headphones and you can dance around and maybe other people are listening to the same depending on what color headphones you have. If you have green, you're listening to one song. If you have red, listening to another one you can hear some people singing along kind of fun I came back over here because they have also the reindeer sippers on sale and then we found out that the popcorn buckets it looks like they don't have any more any well, any left but they had the popcorn buckets and they were selling for $14 rather than the 28 on like in the parks. All right, keeping with my health kick, I'm ending out the night with some pepperoni pizza. So yeah, that's about it. Like it's, it's 11.20 at night right now and there's nothing else happening on the ship. The pizza is gonna close in 40 minutes and that'll be it. So uh, I guess we're going to bed. Tomorrow will be a full day, but today was kind of like a half a day. So, oh no, it still was a good day. Like, still was an interesting experience. Getting the port, getting on the ship, like it getting dark really fast, figuring out, having to look around the concierge lounge. Show was good. I'm really interested to know how many people are on the ship right now because I don't know that they got everybody on. Because people are still streaming in as we are about to leave. Like it feels like we left port at nine o'clock and People were, I think we're probably still getting on board. So I don't know if they like cut it off or what. So we're gonna find out, hopefully maybe tomorrow, talking to some of the crew, they might be able to tell us how many people are actually on the ship. But all in all, today was a fantastic day. Any time on a Disney cruise is a fun time. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.